What's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna talk about Thimble, a business insurance policy with tons of flexibility. So what do I think about it? Is it legit? Is it a good way to protect your business? Well, let's find out. And just to preference this video, I had no idea just how much research would go into doing a video like this. I thought it was just gonna be simply reading their website and coming up with my own conclusion, but boy, was I wrong. Full disclaimer, what I had to do and what goes into a video like this is reading Thimble's full 70 page policy contract. I even signed up for a Zoom conference call with the co-founders to ask some additional questions and I signed up as a broker. So if you appreciate that, make sure to give this video a like. All right, so what is Thimble? Thimble is an insurance company that allows small businesses to buy insurance general or professional liability on a month-to-month -month basis or even by the job per hour or by the day. So right off the bat, this reminds me of pay per mile car insurance, which allows you to price your car insurance policy based on how much you drive. Or like traditional insurers who offer what is known as a low mileage discount. However, Thimble is a little bit different and their biggest difference is their pause feature, which allows you to pause your coverage in situations where your business might slow down or completely shut down like an event like we just had across our world. Or if you want to take that well-deserved break or vacation, you don't have to cancel your policy, just simply hit pause, save the money, and resume coverage when needed. Thimble covers over 120 different professions and their website says that they've written over $122 billion in premium and have over 100,000 policies sold. And their stated purpose is pretty simple, much like a lot of the other insured tech companies out there, and that is to make insurance simple. First off, they have one of the fastest application processes on the market. Their application only asks three questions for a quote. Now, obviously they need more information than three questions, but it sounds like their AI and technology does a lot of the research on the back end. So by the time you're done quoting, you could purchase your policy instantly. And so as their website says, they want to be the most flexible policy. They want to make it the most simple and easiest process. And I have to say, this seems like a pretty reasonable goal and exactly what I would be doing. Now, the second thing that they do is to then add value by offering digital tools, communications, and digital automation, but combined with a human experience, expertise, and communication to provide customers with a easy, but yet valuable service experience. And again, this is what I'm doing exactly myself, so I don't disagree with this one bit. So there has to be a catch, right? You could buy your business insurance instantly, manage your own policy, have the ability to pause and stop and start whenever you want 
unlimited free certificates of insurance and all the digital tools that help you succeed in your business. There must be a catch to all this, right? Well, this is where the research comes into play because anybody could go on their website and get hyped about all the fancy buzzwords and technology, but how many people read through their 70 page contract to find out exactly what's on the inside this guy. So here's what I found out. Besides all the legal jargon, first one is they currently don't offer coverage for care, custody, and control which is basically if you keep a customer's item, let's say you're a boat detailer or a computer repair person and you keep your customer's item overnight and your customer's item happens to get damaged, you would be responsible for that. So they currently don't have an option to add that as a part of their coverage. But in Thimble's defense, they are working on that and should have an option by next year, 2021, or even sooner. Also, their coverage currently doesn't offer business interruption coverage, which a company might need depending on their operations, or they don't cover any commercial property at the moment. This segues into the second concern of mine is their limited product and coverage selection. So like I mentioned, Thimble offers currently general and professional liability. They are currently working on different types of lines of coverages like commercial auto, workers comp, inland marine, things of that nature. Number three, my last concern is not really concern, but it's definitely important to bring up is Thimble's pricing. Now Thimble, what they say and what they state is that they are a premium product. So you do pay a little bit more for the flexibility. So some businesses that are steady with their workflow and can afford a 12 month annual contract may not benefit from Thimble, but if your workflow is seasonal or sometimes you have a big amount of workflow that comes and then the next month it just dramatically slows down, Thimble might actually save you more money with their ability to be able to buy coverage on demand or pause. So overall, what do I think? I think it's always exciting to see something new in the insurance industry. And I really think that Thimble is going to be successful in the long term with the more flexible work that's coming onto the market, freelance work, and the more that people want the flexibility to work from home, I think small business owners are going to see a benefit using Thimble. And I'm really interested to see what kind of products and coverage that they add in the next coming year. So, what do I think? I think Thimble sounds like a really good option for most small business owners. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. Consider subscribing to our channel and I'll see you in the next one.